Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week I posted a video of a new leak that um, was taken from a presentation Microsoft was given at their Ignite conference last week. And the leak suggested that Microsoft is working on Windows 12. Now I'll leave a link in the description to that video. But just kind of following on um, with the, uh, the kind of ideas of future versions of Windows. Um, there's a concept creator who calls himself AR478 who has posted an interesting video on his YouTube channel of a future version of Windows he's calling Windows 23 and what he thinks Windows 23 could look like um, if Microsoft ever did roll out a Windows 23 um, maybe in the next 100 years or so. But jokes aside, um, um, he's come up with some interesting ideas and I'll leave a link in the description to that video but I've taken a couple of screen grabs from his video just to highlight a couple of interesting changes, which I, th I think um, you might find interesting. So we can just go through those quickly in this video if that would be of interest. Now, just remember that this is just a concept and not an actual operating system. And uh, um, the taskbar looks like it's got a couple of options here where it's not just one long, long taskbar at the bottom, but you can place it into different segments and sections. So yeah, we have a piece to the... Um, the left of the screen and a section to the right and um, there are versions of Linux that can actually do this already I think Bodhi Linux you have options to um, separate your, your taskbar into different sections so that's not a completely new idea but I think that would be handy if it did roll out to up and coming versions of Windows and then the uh, start menu um, looks like it's a good mixture of all previous versions of the start menu. I'm seeing XP uh, 7, Windows 7, Windows 10 and also Windows 11. And then um, the next screenshot and screen grab from his video. Um, just bring your attention back to the uh, taskbar here. A piece placed to the center. So as mentioned, the taskbar can be placed into sections. And um, options for the start menu to be placed to the left the center like it currently is in windows 11 and then to the right and i actually think having an option to place the start menu to the right would be a nice improvement if microsoft ever did, did decide to roll that out to windows and then just a close-up of the start menu as mentioned we've got the start menu widgets which um, microsoft discontinued in windows 11 that were in windows 10 and then your pinned apps so as mentioned a good mixture of XP, Windows 7, Windows 10 and also Windows 11. And then here's the File Explorer with a couple of interesting visual redesigns. And here to the um, top left of the uh, File Explorer, he's got something interesting going on here which almost looks like a workspaces for your tabs in the File Explorer. And if we head to that next screenshot in the Flyout menu, um, it looks like he's got a concept here of tab groups like workspaces. So you have different tabs saved into groups and you click on that workspace or that tab group and then it'll open them up in that workspace or in that tab group. Very similar to tab groups found in most of your conventional web browsers. So I actually think that would be quite handy if it did ever roll out to Windows. And then yeah, just um, the settings menu and some redesigns regarding the um, system page and the settings themes page the settings um, mouse page where you can just have options to configure your mouse and so on and um, your device settings your sound page just some visual redesign there just some concept ideas for different different settings menu pages and then um, the uh, notification center yeah at the bottom right um, has a, a different concept and a different idea and then obviously a different idea regarding and concept regarding the actual quick settings and um, if we just take a close-up of the taskbar and a section of the taskbar, yeah, we have um, little mini widgets. Um, well, I think they're called mini widgets, but they look like mini widgets. And this is an interesting idea and I actually think would be quite useful. And um, there's just some other mini widgets. And yeah, we have Cortana, which has made a comeback and he's just given us some, given us some ideas of some possible searches and what those could look like uh, in a Windows 23 Cortana. And believe it or not, he's even included an XP theme. So um, imagine having a future version of Windows where XP theme is bundled in by default. And you can just click on that and go down memory lane and bring back the XP theme in your Windows operating system in the future. And then um, obviously a light and a dark theme. And then once again, the taskbar. Yeah, 
Now it's a, a full, a, 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 you know, a normal length taskbar and is floating and hovering above the bottom of the desktop. And um, then we get some dynamic themes, which I actually think look quite nice. That's the light theme. And also bringing your attention back to the taskbar, different sections, highly customizable. And then the um, dynamic, uh, more of a dark mode theme. And I actually think that looks quite nice. So that's just, um, as I mentioned, um, the concept creator AR478's idea of what Windows 23 possibly could look like. And as mentioned, I will leave a link to his full video in the description if that would be of interest. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.